This is the new Xtool P2 CO2 laser cutter. And this thing is pretty awesome being able to cut and engrave a multitude of different materials with extremely high detail and accuracy. And surprising enough, this comes in a relatively small box for what it is and overall weighs about 130 pounds. And here's the Xtool D1 Pro for scale. And it looks like this laser is packed in here pretty well under this thick foam. And even the inside of this is completely packed with foam to keep things from moving around. And underneath the first layer of foam, you can see that it comes with some materials and some other parts for the actual laser itself. And with all of that foam, out, you can see the interesting cut bed design that they're using, which are these little pieces of metal that just kind of clip in place. And you can easily remove all of these or some of these to set up exactly what you need. And underneath all of that, you can see these two acrylic sheets that came with this laser as well. It's nice that this laser comes with some materials so you can test them out and see what you're going to be using and how to use them. And you're definitely going to need someone around to help you pick this thing up and put it where it's going to go. This laser comes pretty much completely assembled. That being said, you can't use it directly out of the box and we need to remove some screws so we can get this panel off so we can fill Fill it up with some coolant and water for the laser tube so it doesn't overheat. And with it all filled up properly, you can see it flowing through the laser tube itself. And with that all done and put back together, I can install the exhaust ducting. And now the machine is pretty much ready to go. One helpful feature of this laser is that it has cameras built into it. And the one you can see at the back of the machine is a wide angle camera. So you can see your entire build area in one picture. And this way you can easily see where your laser is going to be engraving or cutting without any of the guesswork. And the second camera is actually mounted to the laser head. And this is used for straight down pictures, which are way more precise when lining up things. So with all of the setup and explaining of everything out of the way, let's just use this and see how it works. And with no real surprise, this 55 watt laser can cut through cardboard with no problem. It also had no problem cutting through three millimeter basswood. And with both of these pieces cut out, I'm gonna paint the solid one red, glue them together, and I have a coaster. So definitely not a bad turnaround for a custom made piece. And using the same wood, I can engrave a highly detailed picture onto it in just a few minutes along with cutting it out. And as you can see, it came out looking really nice. And just going over this entire piece with some black paint and dry brushing on some metallic, you can get some interesting results. It almost looks like a sketch that has depth to it. And one of the major advantages to a CO2 laser is that it can cut and engrave on clear acrylic. And this is something that diode lasers just can't do due to the wavelength of the light just being different. Also, CO2 lasers just tend to be a bit stronger and faster. And this is the type of laser that I use to make my jewelry design templates. That being said, this CO2 laser can engrave on coated metals, but it won't even leave a mark on bare metals. But you can cut through some pretty thick wood with no problem. So this will give you a lot of options for building things or even making decorations. And if you want to cut or engrave on really big objects, there's actually an accessory for that so you can put large pieces of material through here and it'll automatically move them back and forth. So you can easily cut out larger parts or signs even. But to use that accessory, you also need a riser like this one, which is pretty easy to assemble. And this will allow you to do a whole bunch more using this laser, mainly being able to put taller objects objects in here, so up to about eight and a half inches tall. This will also allow you to use the curved surface ability of this laser, which comes in really handy for things that are not flat. And you don't need the riser to use this function, it just opens up to more things. You can also set up a rotary tool with this so you can engrave on the outside of round objects. And to control this laser, you have a paid and free option. The free option is the Xtool Creative Space, which honestly works really well, and you can just plug and play or connect over Wi-Fi. Or you can use Lightburn, which is a $60 program, which is an extremely powerful program with a bit of a learning curve. And by this point, you're probably wondering how much this laser costs. And as of recording this, it is $4,600 until the end of May, and then it's going up to $5,000, which is definitely not cheap, but it is still over $2,000 cheaper than the Glowforge. And the P2 seems to have way more features compared to the Glowforge, and you can use it offline, unlike the Glowforge that has to have internet connection to run. And for about $1,000 less than the P2, there's the Gweek Cloud, which is honestly a pretty good alternative and is more or less similar to the Glowforge, but you can use this one without an internet connection using Lightburn. But this is definitely missing a lot of the ease of use functions and features that the P2 has, along with all the different accessory options you can do with the P2, so you can upgrade it to exactly what you need. And of course, these lasers aren't for everyone, but if you have a use case for them, they're extremely powerful tools, to the point that you can build an entire business off of one of these machines, or really up your game in your current business. And so you know, this was sent to me from X tool to make a video on. But all of my thoughts and opinions are my own. And out of all three of the CO2 lasers that I have, this is by far my favorite. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you're looking for anything I use in this video, everything will be down there as well. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.